Hey everybody, it's me. Um, just want to make a quick, uh, quick update. I haven't recorded in a while. Um, I don't have a wait for you guys. Um, I weigh in tomorrow morning and I will make another video to give you that wait. Um, but just want to let you know, um, we did get our house. We officially moved in on Oct, uh, sorry, September. Hmm, we, we signed on September 23rd, so we moved in 23rd. September 29th, I think is when we officially moved in. Anyway, so we've been in for a little while. Um, we still have everything unpacked. It's, it's a, it's a busy time of the year. Um, both of us are in school, both of us work. Um, I work full time and part time and go to school, um, taking nine credits right now. Um, so it's been a little crazy. I just wanted to come in, say hi, see how everybody was doing. Um, our baby cat, we, um, I don't know if I told the story on here or not, um, in July, um, I came home from work, it was probably 107 degrees outside, and I came home from work and there was this little teeny tiny kitten laying in the driveway, or in the parking lot. So, of course, the softy that I am brought the cat into the house. Mind you, we have an eight-year-old beagle, a five-year-old cat that's about 17 pounds and then we have a one-year-old almost one-year-old she's one-year-old one-year-old cat um, that we rescued so we have this new baby as of July so um, took her to the vet got her checked up they couldn't give her shots because she was so sick she had a respiratory infection an ear infection an eye infection um, she was extremely underweight. Um, the vet had said if we hadn't have found her that day, she probably would have died. So, that being said, we nursed her back to health. She's now like four or five pounds, um, and we needed to go have her spayed. Well, at the same time, um, we do not promote declawing cats. It's not safe for them. It's very barbaric. Don't like to have it done. So, this kitten, we clip her nails, and we put kitty caps, um, claw caps on. She ate the claw caps off. Um, we cannot keep her nails short enough. She climbs the curtains, um, which isn't a big deal to us. We'll buy new curtains, whatever. Um, we'll train her not to climb them, but it became a risk for her. Um, she had climbed up the curtains and somehow fell between the rod and the wall and was hanging by her neck um, and couldn't breathe. Luckily I had come, come around, I was in the back of the house and I came up in front of the house found her hanging there. Um, discussed it with our vet, declawing the front claws was our best option. So when we took her in to have a spade we also had her declawed. Um, she is still in quarantine. And, she, um, because she has to use special litter and everything, and she can't be climbing on things that are high and jumping off. We've had to keep her, like, separated from everybody else in the bathroom. Um, except for the past two days, um, I'm in the office right now, and she's, I don't know if you can hear her, come here, baby. Um, come here, baby girl. She is in the office with me while I do my schoolwork. I'm supposed to be doing schoolwork, but instead I'm recording a video. Anyway, so um, it kind of gives her some time out of the bathroom, and she's in here playing with a piece of paper. So she's healing nicely, kind of. Her, her claws are healing nicely. Her incision for spay, um, I noticed today, was a little inflamed and has some goop coming out of it. So I called the vet, and we're going to take her in in the morning to have that checked out. Probably just need some cream or something. It doesn't look real bad. But I want to get it before it does get bad. So, um, the main reason why I wanted to get online today was to talk about something that I did in the past and I am hoping to do now to start again. Um, about two years ago, my partner and I decided that we were not going to eat fast food. We went for six months and did not have a taste of fast food other than Subway. We decided that Subway was a safe place for me to go, that if I need, had that urge to have out fast food, 
Subway would be the best option. So, no fast food, no Chick-fil-A, no Arby's, no Wendy's, no McDonald's, no Taco Bell. Nothing. No KFC, no Quiznos, no, no nothing. So, um, we did it for six months, and then we gradually added it back into our diets. Um, not food plan, plan of life, whatever it was, we were doing it. Um, which it wasn't a good thing for me. So and isn't a good thing for me. It's not good for anybody. So um, I have decided, starting today, 10/20/2011, that I am not going to have fast food other than Subway. And even that, I want to keep it to a minimum. Um, I don't know if my partner's going to go along with me this time, um, but. I felt so much better when I wasn't eating the fast food. Um, once, once we um, went back to eating the fast food, I noticed that the first time we had it, I sat there for 45 minutes before I'd take a bite, and then I was like, I'm just going to do it. Um, I got so sick after I ate it. Um, but of course, that didn't stop me. Eventually, it got back to where I could eat it with no problems, and now I eat it all the time, and I feel very sluggish. So. Uh, just going to eliminate it again and see how it goes and hopefully uh, make it a, a, for a lifetime instead of just six months. So um, I will be back hopefully t tomorrow night when we get home. I'll be able to make a video. If not, I will have one definitely up by Saturday um, letting you know what my weigh-in was. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.